dream come true, mate, to be on an AFL list land? Yeah, no, um, it's just a good experience. Like, uh, all the development years that the academy put into me and now um, yeah, they've got the opportunity to be on an AFL list. It's just an awesome experience. So, so. There's no, no problem with go-home factor because Redcliffe don't have an AFL team, do they? <laughs> yeah, no. Um, yeah, I was at the Redcliffe Tigers for a while, a few years there, my junior club. So, um, yeah, to come from there and um, yeah, represent that club is an awesome experience. So. And how, how did you find the whole combine? I mean, did, when did Brisbane tell you they were going to take you as an academy selection? You were always confident that was going to happen? Um, oh, I really didn't have a, an idea until really the combine week that they were going to kind of um, nominate me. So I was privileged enough to get the opportunity that they nominate me, and um, yeah, just had just enjoyed the experience out in Melbourne, and um, yeah, it just went from there. So bit of a feather in the cap, Liam, that you got a, a second bid from from another club, and sort of makes you feel a bit good. Probably not the club itself, because they've got to use it. Uh, I think on you, but. Nice feeling. Yeah, no, it's always um, nice to see other clubs get interest in the Queensland people and um, it shows that Queensland footy is really improving and um, trying to match the Victorians and the South Australians and that, so yeah, it's good. And you got a lot of mates here? Yeah, no, from the AOS program I got a lot of mates down there and um, yeah, it was awesome to catch up with them on the combine week and yeah, just to catch up with them and yeah, it was good. Uh, the club here, you've been around for a few years, so you're going to pick the brains out of them in your first three or four months? <laughs> Um, oh, I've already had Tommy Rockcliffe text me, so I'll probably uh, catch up with him a bit and um, see if I can pick his brain a little bit. So it'll be awesome to get along with him. So it was good. What position do you see yourself slotting into a senior side in? Um, well, a few clubs have said like they see me as a backline player, but I think Brisbane see me now as a forward midfielder. Um, so you yeah, probably start half forward and then maybe transition to the midfield into, your, into the next few years. So there so we go. Can you pump up the academy for us a bit, Liam, and tell us the value of it? I suppose like there's a lot of yeah, no, I was privileged enough to the Luke pick me at uh, 14, so I've been in the academy yeah, for about four years now and um, yeah, had a lot of pre-seasons with them and they did yeah, so much uh, for my development, like I can't thank the academy enough, um, obviously we're trying to uh, get the edge over the Victorians and try and compete with them, so uh, the, the, the Mountain Academy, the work they did for me and uh, some of the other Queensland boys at Harris, Matty Hellman, that um, is just real awesome. So I can't thank, can't thank Luke and the, the boys enough, so it's awesome. You see the guy like John O'Freeman have an impact you know, early in his senior career coming from the Academy, does that give you a bit of confidence as well? Yeah, like I was, I was good mates with John O, played the state program with him and yeah, no, it's, it gives me a bit of an exciting um, future, I guess, to be with him and have the opportunity to play with him again as well. So, yeah, I kept in pretty close contact with him and, <clears throat> yeah, just kind of excited to play with him again and um, yeah, catch up with him and train with him, so it's good. Luke, Luke how, how straightforward or complicated is the selection of guys from the academy to, to make a list? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a lengthy process. Um, you know, the boys have watched for 12 months a year, uh, even longer for some of our academy boys. We've known Liam since he's 14, so um, we get to know the boys pretty well, but we also want um, the best talent coming into the football club. So while we'd like our academy boys to be up there in amongst the selections, um, it's not a, it'd be unrealistic to think that we can take just you know, purely academy boys from a draft point of view. So the boys have worked really hard, they've earned their spots, and I think it's justified when other clubs bid on, on the boys. That sort of really uh, you know, justifies where they sit in the draft order and, and really pleasing for them to get looked at by not only us but other AFL clubs. Can you tell us a little bit about Harris, who's the other academy selection? Yeah, Harris is an interesting one because uh, we've only been involved in our program now for probably just over 12 months. So unlike Liam, who's been involved for four years, um, Harris grew uh, quite rapidly between 16 and 18. It's now um, just on 200 centimetres. So uh, I saw uh, Harris playing club football last year for Ashbury, just in local under 18 comp. Um, uh, good agility and good size, moves pretty well, and also caught it very well up forward. Um, so he brought him into the program, and to his credit, worked really hard on his endurance. He was playing catch up a bit in terms of a lot of the education on and off the field. Um, but to his credit, he put, it, uh, put a fair bit of effort into it. and and the rewards that come for him now. And do, do you have a sort of special gift to see a kid at 14 who's four foot and know that he's going to be eight foot at you know, 17? I mean, uh, yeah, yeah it's, it's a bit like trying to predict the stock market you know, four years in advance. So you've got to look at um, yeah, their athleticism, uh, what position they play, uh, how competitive they are, do they win the ball themselves? So there's a, it's an, um, yeah, an exact science, I guess. Um, there's no one way to doing it, but um, you bring the boys in, um, back your programs that we've put in place over the last couple of years with the academy and our staff involved and, and hopefully the rewards come for the boys and they have.
And what, and what about rewards? For you? Like, do you have an? You must get an emotional attachment. If you bring a kid like Liam from 14, suddenly he gets a thing, you go yippee. Or do you think sometimes on the other side of the coin that oh, this, this kid's a bit unlucky? Do you, you keep the balance? Yeah, you got to keep balance. We have you know over 200 boys involved in our academy program, and from the ages 12 through to 19, so we're we're pretty realistic in that, and that not all of them are going to go on to be AFL footballers. Um, so while you the the special ones like Liam, who was a real standout at 14. Um, so he was clearly you know, one of the best junior players in Queensland for his age at the time we identified him. You've got to back your programs to make sure that he keeps going through and stays at the top of the tree. Um, while still trying to find those boys who grow late, who mature late um, and come to the program. Uh, and with guys like Liam, who, who I have known for quite a while, you do form a, uh, you know, a pretty special relationship with him and his family um, and all the people involved um, in getting there. So. It is quite pleasing in that regard, um, but then also the other boys who do miss out. Um, there is a bit of um, you know, tinge of sadness there that they, um, for, for different reasons, haven't quite made it. So um, it's you know, the good and the bad, I guess.